This is a vision of space, as seen through the James Webb telescope. But is it what we would see through our own eyes? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Our perception of the night sky is more almost grayscale. Webb can sit on an object and just stare at it for a really long time and collect more and more light, but our eyes can't do that. In fact, what scientists first get from Webb looks more like this. So how do we get to this? Let's back up for a moment. The human eye can only see a small portion of all the radiation in the universe. The longest wavelength in our visible range is red, and the shortest is blue. But Webb primarily captures the universe in infrared, a light we can't see, but one that is important. For instance, newly forming stars are often hidden behind a cloud of dust and gas that absorbs visible light, but allows infrared light through. Webb has a suite of filters that allow astronomers to create images at very specific wavelengths within the infrared part of the spectrum. This data is then translated into the visible spectrum by visual developers who assign colors to each wavelength. We're taking shorter wavelengths of light, assigning them the bluer color, and about longer wavelengths of light, we're assigning them the redder color. I like to think of it as if you're like playing music. There are certain frequencies of sound that we cannot hear. But if we shift the notes of the song into an audible octave, suddenly, we can hear the music. Sometimes there's a little bit of skepticism to these images of like what you're actually seeing. Is it sort of like deceiving you? The only time we make aesthetic adjustments, you know, there might be a reflection of a bright star causing a glow in a part of the image. Now that's something we'd have to deal with because that's not a root, that's not part of the original data. But the key point here is that the data are never altered. So how true are the colors in these images? Think of it this way. We can't see our bones with our eyes, but we've developed x-ray machines that use a certain frequency of light to then create images that show us the insides of our body. Um, that doesn't make it not real because we can't see with our eyes. It actually gives us a glimpse into a reality that exists beyond our physical perception. And that's exactly what we're doing with these telescopes. 